This video is going to take a quick look at using Dada Mail. From the root page, if I look down, I can go to any of my lists directly, or I can just click on Administration. And after doing so, you can select a list from a drop-down menu over here. It's convenient that there's a whole lot to choose from. And then you don't need to know your list password to log into any given list. You can just log in with your root password if you want. And of course, if you want to make a new list, then you do so by typing your password here and then following the process. But uh, today we're just going to log into an existing list. We'll start out by briefly taking a look at how to configure your list. And then in the next video, we'll take a look at how to actually send out mail. Look at the list of navigational options on the left hand side. Go down just about to the bottom. And under your, your list control panel, click on options. If you can get uh, this place with a check mark, that's good. Enable FCK Editor. For subscription tables, I recommend setting this at about 100. And most importantly, place a check mark here. What this does is it skips the opt-in routine that occurs when you add addresses to a list. Dada Mail by default will want to send an email to every single person and say, hey, the administrator added you, do you approve, yes or no? Well, you don't want to even bother people with a question of whether or not they approve of being on your mailing list. You just want to send out email, right? So, put your check mark there. So, put check marks on everything. Show 100. Save changes. If you want people to be able to join one of your mailing lists through filling out their email address on a form on any of your sites, then click here subscription form HTML. You will get some code that you can copy and paste, pass that off to your webmaster, and he or she will make it happen. Next, under mass mailing, go to mass mailing preferences. Enable batch sending and then for how many messages to send per batch, I recommend keeping that kind of low. And then uh, be selective with your wait time. How long will you wait between each batch? This allows you to set your throttle, which means how many messages you send per hour. Some web host services will limit you and they will only allow you to send out, for example, 500 emails per hour. As you learn more about uh, sending mail in bulk, you might find some things such as uh, sending slowly can help you stay under the radar when you're sending to some of the services, such as Yahoo, with Yahoo, uh, I believe you never want to send more than 20,000 per hour. And of course, that varies on a lot of other uh, values or variables, such as uh, where are you hosted from? What's the IP address? Are you coming out of China? That might be kind of suspicious, right? 
Are you whitelisted with any services because you're not doing any spam at all? All of this matters and you need to set your throttle accordingly. As you get more experience you'll figure out what throttles work best for you and for what different situations. For the other settings I recommend just following exactly what you see shown on the video screen right now. Be sure you got auto pickup set up. Uh, that allows the script to resume if there's uh, any issues which cause it to crash before it's done doing its job. Dot Mail does some stuff that is pretty advanced, such as uh, it keeps an archive of all the emails you've sent out, and that can be visible online if you choose and you can even have it automatically send out Twitter updates with each mailing that you do. That's kind of fancy stuff though, so I don't use it. No comment. Under Advanced Sending Preferences, there is also an interface which you can use to configure uh, and set up some domain-specific sending preferences. all you pros out there. For my own setup, my own purposes, which is nothing too fancy, nothing too professional, such as, you know, sending out 10 million in a day, I use the default value on almost everything. Next up is mailing list options. If you have a list that uh, might be kind of dirty, have a whole lot of junk in it, and you want to keep it clean, then uh, I would recommend installing the DNS module and then placing a check mark here. What that can do for you is save you a bit of work with keeping your list clean. And then for subscription confirmations, I leave this off. And uh, what that does is it means if someone subscribes by putting in their email address at your web form, then they're done immediately. They're signed up. They don't get a confirmation email that says, are you sure you want to join this list? Click this link and then I'll know that you're sure and I'll add you to the list. The other options here are pretty well self-explanatory. And by just looking at the screen, you can see how I have everything set up on my end. Now this setting right here under unsubscription options is particularly important and useful if you think that people might forward stuff to their friends because if stuff gets forwarded and forwarded and forwarded then eventually it's going to hit somebody who thinks well wait a minute where did this come from? They're not even going to notice that it came from their friend and they're going to click on the, un on the unsubscribe link but that unsubscribe link belongs to somebody else. You don't want people falling off of your list just because they shared some information with somebody by forwarding it. That prevents that situation from happening. So, put a check mark there. And I think it's good to send an unsubscription successful email so it lets people know that yeah, yeah, they did get unsubscribed. And of course, uh, with, within Dot on Mail, you get to control the content on the unsubscribe page and also that unsubscription email. And that can be used to uh, direct people to talk to you 
and uh, discuss anything that they might have for feedback, ideas for improvement, and bottom line, it gives you a chance to potentially save a customer from leaving you. Under email message template, you will want to locate both the plain text and the HTML messages and then strip down all of the junk that you will find here uh, after you just installed this. Uh, and by stripping that down you have greater control and only the stuff that you want to be displayed in the mailing will actually be displayed. Otherwise this program tries to show your name, your address, all sorts of details that really don't matter. Under mailing list options you can control the default from address that shows up as a list owner address. I just slide that was under change list information. More to come.